Do you enjoy bungee jumping? Do you drive the wrong way in car line at after school pickup? I am probably talking to you, you risk taker you. You're probably also thinking about planning a summertime cruise to the Caribbean. And why is that taking a risk, you might ask? Well, because that's when hurricane season is. Now, there's certainly a few words of caution to be said about sailing during hurricane season, but mostly because it's so unpredictable. Focus on the fact that even in a busy hurricane season, a hurricane is not a daily event. If it was, it wouldn't make the news. It would just be another day of hurricane. So there's a really good chance that your hurricane season cruise will be completely unaffected by foul weather. But if it is, I want you to be prepared, you crazy risk-taking people, you. So the first thing I want you to do is buy the travel insurance. I can hear you in my head balking at the very thought of it. You're booked on one of those $15 a night carnival cruises to the Caribbean and the travel insurance may cost more than the cruise itself. You have to think beyond just the cost of your cruise because travel insurance will cover you for missed flights, missed ports, trip cancellations, interruptions, among many other things. If your ship sails during a storm, all of that stuff is a possibility. You have to be prepared for changes to your itinerary. If you are booking a summertime Caribbean cruise specifically because it is so important for you to go to senior frogs and enjoy a cocktail or two or 12, you may be disappointed if you're sailing during hurricane season. You may find out an inkling of what's going on before you sail, but there is a very definite possibility that your captain and crew are monitoring the storm. And based on what they're seeing, they may have to make changes to your itinerary. Now, this is where those missed ports may become an issue. The seas might be choppy or unsafe for your ship to try and dock at certain ports, or depending on where the hurricane hits, you may be going to a port that has been directly impacted by a storm. And at that point, they're unable to accommodate a cruise ship or a boatload of people. So your ship may be forced to change course and skip a port unexpectedly. I also want to encourage you with every fiber of my being to give yourself an extra day or two, if you can, at the end of your cruise to get home. If you get on board a ship and there is a hurricane brewing, there's a slight chance that your return to port may have to be delayed. Now, I just experienced this in September on my Disney Wish cruise. We were out there. We totally missed the storm itself, but we couldn't get back to port. Port Canaveral was closed because of the storm. And then because there were so many ships that couldn't get in on their assigned day, there were a lot of ships trying to get in at the same time. So we ended up getting back two days later than we were supposed to. It was damn fun to have two free days on board a Disney cruise ship. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty awesome. But if you've got a big work meeting planned or an important medical appointment for the day you get back or even the day after you're supposed to be back, you may end up having to cancel if your ship is impacted by a storm. So plan to give yourself an extra buffer at the end of your trip so that you can get home safely and get to your big appointments. You all know that I suffer from anxiety. I've talked about it in other videos. So I want you to know that for the most part, you are pretty darn safe at sea. Your captain and crew, this is not their first rodeo. They have trained for this. They have prepped for this. Their whole maritime career has been leading up to this very moment. I may be exaggerating just a little bit. They will keep monitoring this storm the entire time you are at sea and they have the option to choose and change the route that your ship sails. They will take you wherever they need to in order to avoid sailing directly through the storm. It is their job to make sure everyone on the ship is safe and this can definitely contribute to a change in your itinerary. So just be aware that there's some chance, even if you don't see or feel the storm at all where you are, it doesn't mean it's smooth sailing everywhere. Your cruise might also feel the pinch when it comes to entertainment or dining offerings. If your cruise is extended past the time that you were supposed to return home, there's not a grand Broadway style show in the hip pocket of your cruise director just waiting to be performed in the event of an extension of your cruise. If you're visiting the main dining room, you might find out on your bonus nights that they repeat 
a meal or two. I hope you like all of your meals on board the ship because you might see it again if your sailing is extended. Some things may be unavailable, like a specialty dining restaurant. They may not be prepared for extra nights at sea, so you won't be able to book a specialty dining restaurant on those bonus nights. Now, we were lucky on our wish sailing that the cruise line and the cruise director worked together and they were able to provide us with additional movies in the movie theater and they quickly added on activities for the kids and trivia contests and other activities for the adults. But a lot of this is at the discretion of the cruise director and the captain and they're at the mercy of whatever they have available. So just don't be surprised if you end up extended a day or two and you don't have everything available to you that you did on the day that you got on the ship. I would not hesitate in the slightest to book another cruise during hurricane season. As a matter of fact, I'm in the middle of planning one for almost the same exact time as my hurricane impacted wish cruise from last year. But just know that if you plan your cruise during hurricane season, you do have to be a little flexible. Leave your grumpy at home. No one on the ship is going to appreciate it. And if you're an anxious traveler, be prepared. Have some mindfulness exercises. Make sure you have extra medication with you. And whatever you do, just know that you're going to get through whatever may come your way. 